Welcome to Facts and Awareness. Today, I'm going to discuss with you on one of the most interesting topic of this pandemic, childhood obesity. Well, to begin with, on today's topic, childhood obesity, I am sure you all would agree that we are living in a very fast-paced life. In fact, to be more precise, I would say, being successful in life is directly proportional to your health, wealth, and how prosperous you are in your life. Well, if this is true, have you any time thought at what cost do you think your success is determined? Or what is the cost of your success? Well, isn't this a tricky question? Yes. If you need to be healthy, you need to be active, productive in life. But are you being productive? Today, let me share you on how childhood obesity has been a topic of determining your success rate starting right from young age. That too, when I mean young age, do remember it's early as age 5. Let's deep dive on this emerging pandemic impact in the current generation, childhood obesity. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Do you remember this proverb? If your answer is yes, then I would like to ask you a question. Do we really follow this? Do you really go early to bed? Or do you really wake up early to see the morning sunrise? In fact, the question starts right from how many of you follow a sleep pattern by going early to bed every day? The reality is we actually don't have a routine bedtime to follow. I'm not joking here. Yes, this is a real fact. We people don't follow either a proper sleep pattern or a proper diet to stay healthy. When you don't have a proper sleep pattern, do you know what are the consequences that one has to face in his or her life? Do you know sleep cycle is one of the rising concerns of many parents of this current generation. In fact, the most essential need of any person's life on earth is a sleep routine. Can you live a life without sleep? Today, let's discuss on how the sleep routine or the sleep pattern is at a big stake now. When you mean healthy, many people consider following a nutritional diet thinking it's important to stay healthy. Also, some feel it's important to follow a perfect exercise regime to stay fit. But why not a proper sleep pattern? In this video, let's discuss on what is sleep pattern and what time is considered ideal for bedtime. Also, let's have a healthy discussion on what simple tips and easy techniques that needs to be followed to fall asleep quickly. Apart from this, let's all understand on what complications and adverse health effects will we have if there isn't enough sleep for a human being. Let's look into one by one in detail. For the past few years, I am sure you would have observed children who are either obese or probably overweight in this current generation. In fact, there is a common misconception among people where they think that the child is being obese due to the parents being obese. But the real fact is, as per statistics, children becoming obese due to genetical reasons or some hormonal imbalance is quite a very low percentage. Isn't it shocking? So, if genetically a kid doesn't become obese, then what factors do you think could be the other reasons for a kid becoming overweight? The answer is so simple. Number one, lack of physical activity. Number two, unhealthy eating patterns. As per study, doctors recommend kids to start a meal pattern with small serving every day. As per pediatric study, a child's growth is determined based on the average food intake and also on the physical activity. That is why your pediatricians check on your child's daily average food habits as well as a physical activity for calculating the BMI, which is the body mass index during your pediatrician's appointment. Yes, the body mass index. But the raising concern of this pandemic is childhood obesity. With the emerging TV screen time, computers, phones, iPads, tablets, a child's daily average screen time has increased to minimum 4-6 to six hours now. With the pandemic now and online school activities, Zoom meetings, a child's screen time has increased terribly. Due to this, a child's play dates, play times have dropped significantly, leading to overweight or obese. As per research from the American Heart Association, obese children are at a risk of having high cholesterol, high blood pressure, similar to obese adults. Not only that, kids of young age are at a higher risk of getting heart attack. When I mean young age, it is actually in the mid-20s. 
Yes, you heard it right. Young teens in the mid 20s. Also, as per the study conducted by the California Medical University, children who are overweight are also at a higher risk of getting diabetes, bone problems, skin infection, fungal infection. Well, I shared you on how lack of physical activity triggers a child to become obese and cause significant impact on the health. Now, it's time to discuss on how diet plan and sleep pattern causes health problems. Does your child throw tantrum embarrassing you in front of the others asking for a junk food? As a result, parents tend to buy the food the child asks for. I'm not questioning here on the parenting style, but many times we parents end up buying the convenient easy to go food options and tend to fail to make our kids follow a healthy diet pattern well i'm not being judgmental here on whether junk food or soda is healthy or unhealthy at the moment but eating what food at what time and at what proportion is definitely important to stay fit that's where the thin line of healthy diet versus non healthy diet comes into picture following the healthy diet pattern and the exercise regime now let's dive deep into the sleep pattern as per recent study results from sweden kids who sleep beyond 9 pm are at a higher risk of getting obese in fact as per statistics in many western countries like australia new zealand america kids sleep by 8 pm but do you know our indian kids sleep cycle is said to be beyond 9 pm isn't it shocking in fact Now with the stats American Medical Council is collaboratively doing a research with Indian Medical Council to determine the cause of the overweight children in India do you know Indian kids rank number 2 in overweight children across the world if this continues India will become the diabetes capital of the world isn't it shocking well i shared you on how sleep pattern is equally important similar to diet and exercise in staying fit now Let me share you on some tips on how we can improve the sleep pattern. Number 1, follow a regular bedtime routine. As a first step to fight against childhood obesity, let's all try to follow a simple bedtime routine pattern in our homes. In order to implement this in our homes, it's definitely the necessity of all people in the family, let it be kids, parents, everyone need to be in their bed by 9 p.m. As per research, a child's growth hormone regenerates the immune system and repairs skin damage. And this growth hormone secretes in the child's body approximately around night 11 p.m. to early morning 3 a.m. If this sleep pattern is disturbed, remember, child's growth is impacted, leading to health complications. Number two, as you all know, drinking coffee at odd hours makes an adult stay awake, affecting the sleep cycle. Similarly, giving sweet treats before bed will affect the sleep cycle of the child as the sugar acts as a stimulant and makes the child awake, causing a disturbed sleep. Obviously, a disturbed sleep is going to impact the growth hormones, deterring the growth of the child's brain. Next, number 3. Say bye to electronic gadgets 30 minutes before bedtime. Try to switch off TV, mobile phone at least 30 minutes before your bed. As you all know, our brain secretes a chemical melatonin, which responds only in darkness. So any blue light emissions from your phones will disrupt your sleep-wake cycle. In this video, I just wanted to share some awareness on the emerging health condition of this pandemic: childhood obesity. Let's all try to follow a healthy, proper, nutritional, balanced diet, physical activity, and proper sleep pattern to avoid any health complications in children. Since Today's children are going to be tomorrow's adults. If you like my video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Facts and Awareness. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.